buddy. Coming at you from out in the wilderness near our favorite creek. We have today, Hello. we have Nick. And today is another Chef Dave's video. And we are going to have something that we've never had before. Uh, now, my friend Chris from California is sends me the coolest stuff. He's like the best friend a guy could ever have. He's been one of the biggest, biggest donators I've ever seen. And he recently sent me a box of different foods from over in the southwest and uh, over on the other side of the country. And today, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right or not, but today we're going to try, tam I think it's pronounced Tamaya, I think, Tamaya Blue Corn Pancakes. And we're going to top it off with prickly pear syrup. <laughs> so, uh, first thing we're going to do is, and we're going to make some coffee, some coffee that we've never tried before. And so first thing we're going to do is we're going to get these backpacks off and I'm going to go ahead and dump everything out because a lot, a lot of people like to see what we're going to use instead of explaining as we go. And it makes it easier on me to cook with everything just laid out. So anything you want to add? Let's get cooking. I can't wait to see this. <laughs> All right. That sounds like good advice. It sounds like a very exotic breakfast and uh, I can't wait for it. Yeah. It's going to be something that we're not used to. You know, we're, we're used to sausage and grits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's get this show on the road. And Nick's already got his backpack off. I'm going to take mine off now. Uh, let's see. Oh, I already got my strap off. Now, we're right here beside the creek, so I'm probably going to have to talk a little bit loud. All right, we have our Marbles 704 axe. It's a very small, lightweight axe. I have the Hidden Woodsman backpack. And Nick is trying out a, I think it's pronounced... Savota. It's a Scandinavian backpack. It's pretty neat because it's got this uh, place right here on the side for a for an axe where all this uh, stuff is. It's pretty neat. But I, we only brought the one. All right, so let's look in here. Let's get this thing out. We have, as usual. I like a waterproof thing here, heavy duty little tarp so that I can lay everything on it and see what it is. So this pack here is the ingredients. We've got milk and eggs and a pancake mix in that. We've got some water in here. We've got our griddle. And we've got a few things in here. Set this against this tree. Let's see what's in Nick's pack. Sure as heck wasn't the whole griddle. <laughs> no, that and that griddle's <laughs> kind of heavy. All right, we have coffee. We have roastery mm. full vengeance. Smell it brewing already. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be some good stuff. And then let's see. Oh, we have a silky big boy. That'll be with our axe. We got another container here full of water. I think there's a hey pan Dave. in the mixing bowl in there. Hey Dave. What? Tell me something. What? Why'd you bring such a large container of water when there was a creek right there? <laughs> well, I didn't know where we were going to be filming. <laughs> That's that Savota. I can't remember the number of it. There's a number of that pack right there. Anyway. Alright, we got the coffee pot. See if I can zoom in. Have you shown this pack before? No. See if I can zoom in on the name of it. Stop moving it. There we go. Savada? Yeah, maybe that's it. Savada. There's a number for it. I can't remember the number. I wasn't in it. What does that say? Okay, you're moving it. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> 339. Can you zoom in on the label? Yeah. Where is it? There it is. Okay. All right. Anyway, that's a Savada. Savada. And then this Hidden Woodsman is, this camo is called Pincott Green Zone. Anyway, I know that has nothing to do with us cooking, but people ask these things. Yeah. Now. It's still part of the experience. 
Well, yeah, Helping us carry everything. Now, right here, I had an old Chinese griddle, but this, now I always wrap it in a bag because it's real oily. Because I used to think to myself, if I put it in this bag and it gets all messed up. Did I say Duncan? Yeah, Duncan <laughs> on this bag. If I put it in this bag and it gets all messy and oily, then I'll just wash it. But the problem is, is if it soaks through, it gets in my backpack. So I've decided to start using whatever plastic bags and around our house there's never a shortage of Dunkin' Donuts bags. And I recently reseasoned this. This is a Lodge 7G12. And that's what we're going to be using. And I have made a couple of legs for it. <sighs> I made a couple of legs that you just stab in the ground and it holds it up. One of the mistakes that I've learned in the past was, oh, I got a, what do you call that thing? Whisk? A whisk, that's it, yeah, I couldn't remember what it's called. Now I got me a spatula. Let's see, a little cup and a fire kit. You know those Altoid towns. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now let's look at this for a minute. <laughs> I put this in this bag here to keep it from getting ripped. How you pronounce that? Uh, Tamaya? Yeah, I think. Tamaya Blue Corn Pancake Mix. 12 ounce bag, whole grain blue corn, whole wheat, flour, bacon powder, salt, no additives or preservatives. Nature, no native seed search. Tucson, Arizona. But that, this is what we're going to be trying today. On the back it says directions. So, there you go. All right. So that is that. And this I'm going to show you real quick. It's a nice heavy duty plastic container. <clears throat> and inside is a mesh bag. And inside the mesh bag is a people sock. <laughs> a nice thick sock. And inside this nice thick sock is a glass bottle. Mm. Sherry's Desert Harvest Natural Prickly Pear Cactus Syrup. How's that sound? Delicious. And I think that's from Arizona too. Yeah, Tucson, Arizona. How's that? Sh Sherry's DesertHarvest.com Prickly Pear Cactus Syrup. syrup. So this is going to be an adventure here. And then of course in this thing right here I've got uh, at least I hope I, I do. <laughs> Let's look. Oh and this little bitty tiny cup here I've got the amount of oil that I need. That little glass bottle just happens to be the right amount of oil according to the directions. And then I've got uh, one one and a third cup of milk in that. And then I've got the I've got some eggs in here. And as always, I have a frozen Gatorade bottle because that way it keeps your stuff cold. And then when it defrosts, you got nice cold water. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set this up, and then we're going to build a fire. And then I got a little stand in here for the coffee. So let's let's do that. We got to let it. We're going to let the uh, we're going to build a fire and let it get down to coals while we're mixing up the pancake mix. All right, I got a nice area cleared out here. And we're going to put, let's see, let's put this right here. If I need to clear out more of an area, I will. Let's see if it's going to widen it. Yeah, see, I'm gonna go ahead and get these things situated. See, that's. I don't think that's level. No, it ain't good. <laughs> I like to get this stuff level ahead of time before I do the fire. Yeah, you can kind of use the griddle itself to hammer them down a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Grab by the handle and just use the side of it. 
go down with this side here a little bit. Oh, now that's pretty good right there. Or I can beat on it like that. All right, now look, that's good. Okay. Now, we're using Nick's favorite setup. The monopod. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna put it. We got our glacier stainless coffee pot. Like I say, it's my favorite because I said it's the most unstable looking grill <laughs> you've ever shown I'm, on the channel. Well, I bent it. <laughs> I bent it in the middle here. Oh, that's firewood. <laughs> what a good that did. Now nah, that ain't gonna go any good. Just hammer it in with a griddle. Right there. No, nah, I don't want to do that yet. <laughs> I'm literally saying use the griddle as a hammer. Alright, I think that'll work. Push it around a little bit. I'll get rid of some more of this leaves here. All right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to get a fire going here and here. And then we're going to mix up the ingredients and get it going. Sound good? Sounds good. All right. Let's gather up some wood and get a fire going because we want it to burn down the coffee. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make the coffee pot ready and set it to the side because as soon as the fire's going, if we got flames, we're good to go with the coffee pot. But we want to get it down to coals for the, the cast iron griddle here. So this orca bag, people always ask about these things. This thing holds a two liter bottle. But now there's a difference between Coke products and Pepsi products. Uh, all of the Pepsi products bottles fits in here, but the Coca-Cola products are about an inch too tall. So you'll have to keep that in mind if you want to use a, a two-liter for this. That's weird. All right, we're good right there. That is about, let's see. Yeah, see how that lid, that lid just barely closes like that? There's a little bit of water left in there. All right, that is, I don't know, that ain't got the labels on the, on the inside. All right, let's open this up. This is the, the roast, Roastery Coffee Company, Full Vengeance. Oh, smells so good. All right, let's sprinkle some of this in here. Saying full vengeance with coffee makes me think of that Death Wish coffee. <laughs> We've never had it though, so we don't know what it's like. No. Alright. So I'm going to put this in here. Just like that. A lot of people don't use filters in these things, but I've, I, I have and I have no problem with it. So now we're going to set this over to the side. Here, take that and smell that. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's really good. It smells I'm really trying. good. Right, set it over there. I'm done. With I'm it. showing the label. Oh okay. Oh look at that. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, isn't that cool? All right. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now? See, I'm going to get the fire going in two different places here. Alright, I got two cotton balls and a lighter. So, I'm going to fluff up one end of the cotton ball. You know, it's honestly been so long, I can't remember. Are we still doing the butter joke? <laughs> About lighting fires with it? Well, this is the grill that we did the butter joke with. You know what? Did you bring butter? Yes, I brought butter. <laughs> huh. I, 
I don't think it'll burst into flames again. But. No, it ain't. Because we're going to go down to coals this time. We ain't making that same mistake. Is it really a mistake, though? It's quite funny. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was pretty funny. I <laughs> got hot quick. Fire does that. Yeah, it does. All right. So we're going to get this going. Yeah, I think bugs keep flying in my ears. Well, it's that time of year for the bugs to start coming out. All right. This is starting to smolder. I don't think we can make pancakes on that. We're not. We're getting it ready. You gonna, put the griddle, you gonna put the griddle on and throw some butter on it? No. <laughs> no, we ain't making that mistake again. <laughs> See what I'm doing now, the cotton balls died and in, in the sense of, of, you know, being honest, I wound up using birthday candles and then I covered it with the small oh. stuff and then I put the big stuff Cheater. on Cheater. Cheater. Anyway, I think this will I think this will work now. I think we can get it going. Now, honestly, I can put the coffee pot on here already. Let's see, let's put a small one right here. Or another one, I mean. Because we want plenty of coals right here. Yeah, because I... We don't want to have to mess with this again. You should put the coffee pot on already, because that way, um, it'll be co coffee will be in our cups cooling down while we're finishing up. Oh, I'm going to. Cooking. All right. Are you feeling the flames coming towards you? No, but my eyes full of smoke. That ain't good. <laughs> All right, now this is ready, so we're gonna put this on because it doesn't matter. A coffee pot can handle flames. It it, it, it does not matter. All right, I think we're good to go here. Put one more right here. Cause that'll all die down in a minute. All right, now we gotta come to two, the nuts and bolts of the video. Every once in a while, every once in a while you can reach over there and catch the fire. So you can keep an eye on that. All right, now what we have in here, it says, this is a homemade bag. It's made out of an old pair of pajamas. Hey, wait, those look familiar. <laughs> they do, don't they? Wait a minute. What did you do? That's an old pair of Nick's pajamas from when he was a kid. Alright, so we have... A bonfire. A mixing bowl. We have our coffee pots. The coffee fire's cups. getting pretty big. Good, let it. And then I have a cup right here. Look, the, the, the handle fell off of it. But still, it's a good double wall cup. Just have fun holding it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then we got a couple, of, a couple of pans here and a regular pan. All right, we got a mixing bowl. All right, this says beat two eggs and three tablespoons of oil in a mixing bowl. Add one and a third cups of milk and then add contents of mixed package. Stir only until smooth. Let stand for five minutes, but do not restir. Cook on a lightly oiled griddle. All right, so two eggs and three tablespoons of oil. Let me get this open. I say the problem last time was with that fire. Was we? How hot are you over there? Are you okay? Yeah, I can't feel it, but I'm guessing you certainly can. Yeah. And say <laughs> the problem is, is last time with those flames. Hey, your foot's on fire. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I put I put the griddle on there to try to preheat it with those flames, but when I did it, it never cooled back down. It wound up being too hot. So, all right, let's do this. What does this say? Two eggs. All right, two eggs. bit of paper towel here because I don't want you know 
I don't really want the eggs on there. But where the oil go? Okay, the oil. Oh, pay attention to this little cup. You're going to see it in the future. <laughs> All right. There's the oil. And then where's that thing at? All the whisks. Whisk. I said to beat them together. Does this look like I'm beating them? Yes. Where's Michael Jackson when you need him? Beat it, beat it. No one wants their eggs mistreated. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that says add one and one third cups of milk and yep. contents of package. Oh, the camera, is the camera getting? What? Well, well, the heat's hot? all going this direction now. Okay. Well, that'll die down in a minute. It ain't like it's going to get any I'll just, oop, just sit my hand in front of the camera. It's pretty it hot over here. Well, back up about a foot. <laughs> hey, oh, back yeah. up about a foot. It's okay. I don't know. Then I won't be able to see anything. Okay, when it moved back up. It was going straight over here. Oh, okay. You ain't as bad. You can back up about a foot, it won't hurt a thing. Alright, let's see. And contents of mixed package stir only until smooth. Now I think when they say stir only, I think what that means is somebody had told me one time, they said don't ever put this stuff in a bottle and shake it up. Because if it has baking powder in it, you're going to deactivate the baking powder by shaking it. Because you're you're, you're, you're introducing oxygen. Can you see this good? Yeah. Right. Are you finally cooling down over there some? Yeah, I'm trying to find that temperature gauge on my watch just to see what it says. Huh. Where's that? All right, that is the contents of the package. And it said stir. I don't want to get that messy. Our campsites, all our, our cook sites, our kitchens always look like a bomb went off. Oh, oh this is 94. Oh, man. <laughs> look at this. Wind up having to clean everything. Now this, the color of this doesn't look like any pancake mix I've ever seen. Blue corn? Blue corn? Blue corn pancake mix. Now I guess you can over stir this. I hope not. Alright Nick, what, what time is it? Uh, let's see. 11.03. Huh? 11.03. 11.03. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. All right. Uh, Sid, let it sit for five minutes. I think that's stirred enough. I really don't want to over stir it. All right. 11.09. We'll be, woo, those are so hot I can't touch them. All right. I'm going to let that sit. This is a small pizza pan. We'll set that right there. So that nothing will fall in it. All right, we'll cut you back on here in just a minute. After five minutes of letting this set, then we're gonna start pour, pouring them up. All right, sound good, Nick? Sounds good. All right. All right, so we got our coffee percolating. Or as Nick says, I say, per per Perky laden. Well, how do I say it, Nick? Perky laden. Yes. So, we're going to put that on there. Warm that up a little bit. All right, now how long on this, you think, Nick? You want to let it go for five minutes? Uh, sure, be 11, 12. All right. And then we can pour it in our cups and it'll be, it'll be good to go. 
those cups preheated now because they're sitting next to the fire for so long? They were. <laughs> they I was were. wondering about that. All right, and it doesn't have, quite have that color yet, but it will pretty soon. It's still pretty clear, yeah. Yeah. Whoo, man, that thing's already warmed up. All right, so let's get what we need over here. I'm gonna need uh, hold on. Is it 1108 yet, Nick? Just hit it. Right. Like the smoke's just hit me in the eyes. Woo. That ain't good. Man, I'm usually wearing contacts, so this smoke coming to my face doesn't bother me at all. But I got glasses on now, and it's... Woo. Oh, okay. I feel it now. <laughs> Look, I always carry a piece of leather with you as a pot holder. That's what I'll use to pick these things up for you. All right, we need our butter. All right, let's see. I'm going to use, where did things go? Here they are. That's why I like to have everything laid out over there. All right, did you say it's 11.08 already? That's 11.09. Okay, good. Well, oh, you're it. running late. Huh? All right, you're getting the butter out? All right, moment of truth. Moment of truth. Oh, listen to that sizzle. See, it didn't burst into flames. That is perfect, Nick. That is perfect. Hey, today is going to be a good day. I hope so. Maybe my eyes will stop burning. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the smoke will go the other direction. All right, old man. How's that? We got a nice coating of unburnt butter. Pretty good. I got the camera locked down. I'm just going to stand over here for a minute. Why, from the smoke? Oh, yeah. Alright, let's take this. Oh yeah, I was standing here, I can see it's going straight where I where I'm sitting. It's locked on the griddle. Yeah, it's on the Yeah. Oh, oh man, that fire is hot. Woo. Hot, hot. All right. Let's see. Set that up there. Now I'm told that when you get bubbles around the outside, it's starting to form and it's ready to flip. But then when you get bubbles in the middle, it is ready to flip. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and get these pans over here. These things here, these plugs. Prickly pear syrup. It's gonna be so good. All right, you think it's ready? Time to flip it. Oh, thank God, smoke went the other direction. Oh, did it? Man, my legs are on fire. Man, that makes a difference not wearing contacts. <laughs> you know, wearing contacts just protects your protects your eyes for most things. So not having them in, uh, it just wow, you 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 will notice. Look at that! Those oh, look, look at that! Those look I, really good. Oh, they do look good, and I didn't burn them. That'll be yours because this one's kind of burnt on the edge. I give you the good one. Cameraman privilege. Yep, cameraman privilege. Hey, matter of fact, I think, let's say this. We can cook that other stuff at any time. Let's go ahead and pour the coffee so that it's cooling. I oh, think yeah, 11 12. 11 12? Yeah, 11 12. Perfect timing. All right. All right. All right. Moment of truth. Look at that. Mmm. It is golden. That is the perfect color for drinking black.
If you get it too dark, it's good for creamer and sugar. All right, now that ought to be good by then. I wonder if I should set it on there or set it off to the side. <sighs> I'd set it to the side. So yeah, don't... we don't want to overdo it because it's it percolated for a good while. Put it right over here on this side. All right, you think these pancakes are ready? Yeah, probably. I'd look at it definitely. Oh yeah. Oh, ooh. I better hurry up. Oh, don't, oh. don't. Oh. Well, that one's done. <laughs> well, let's let that cool a little bit. All right, what do you think, Nick? I think they're looking pretty good. They are looking good. Let's see. This one is. This one is burnt more. There's a clean spoon. Man, you smell it. You smell the the, the corn in it. Are they fluffy? Oh yeah, very fluffy. Yeah. Oh yeah, now I smell it, yeah. Alright. Well, let's open this stuff up here. Get rid of this whole thing. It's got a resealable bottle. Oh, right. Imagine carrying that out of here if it wasn't resealable. Give me a whiff. Smell it. Mmm. All right. You gonna pour yours on? Who's going to try the first bite, you or me? Uh, you can have the honors. All right. I don't know. And then I'm going to film you. We can try at the same time. Okay. Oh, well, no, you wanted to film me. Yeah, I want to film you. Yeah. Mmm. Let me try a little nibble here without the prickly pear. Man, that has got such a unique flavor. Without the syrup, but with the syrup. That, that syrup is really good. Oh. You're gonna love this, Nick. You are going to love this. We will be ordering some, some more of this. Thank you, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Mm. I am very pleasantly surprised. We've got our coffee sitting right there. Then we've got our griddle there, and it's still nice and warm. It's not overheated. We've got our batter over there. And we have Nick pouring on like his prickly pear douse syrup. It. Yeah, just douse it. You ain't going to regret it. That is so good. There we go. No. <laughs> I like to drown my pancakes in syrup. Yeah, you will that stuff. That is so good. It'll crawl on them. All right, pick it up here and try it. Right. Just rub it around in there. Here, hold it up to the camera again. Flip it over, get it on the other side. Let me see. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a I really good syrup. Oh yeah, the syrup's good, the pancake's good, that is so good. Nick, this is a very good morning. <laughs> These are definitely different pancakes than you would, like very, very noticeably different pancakes than you would get in a store. Oh, no doubt. The, the, the texture and the flavor both are yep. completely different. The texture kind of reminds me of what they call buckwheat pancakes, but 
the flavor, unbelievable. Unbelievable. A little more of that. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna. That's good. Yeah, I think we're gonna, uh, before I even make those others, I don't think it's gonna hurt that stuff any. Uh, I got it set. Well, I probably should have covered it up over there, but I don't think it's gonna hurt anything over there. Uh, but we're gonna cook some more here in a minute, but we're gonna go ahead and eat these things fresh. Man, these are fantastic. Make sure when you're eating it, you douse it. So yeah. You get all that syrup. That syrup's delicious. <laughs> all right, Nick, I'm gonna get mine. We're gonna chow down here in a minute. I'm gonna show you these again, real quick. Tamaya Blue Corn Pancake Mix, Native Seeds Search nativeseeds.org and then this is Sherry's Desert Harvest Natural Prickly Pear Syrup it says on the back sherrysdesertharvest.com made in the USA sustainably grown and produced in the USA these are winners in my book I mean winners especially this syrup that's the best syrup I've ever had like, oh, yeah. it's so sweet that it doesn't overdo it it's got your own unique flavor. Mm. Mm. Wow. Oh, the coffee. Mm -hmm. Roastery full bean. Can you pick it up? Be the one to uh, deal with the handle. This one, it ain't hot, is it? Cup, yeah, but I mean, you can hold it, though. yeah. Oh, that's good, it's a little hot, a little hot, a little strong. Mm. Well, that was pretty dang good. I think what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to finish eating this and then we're going to finish making the rest of this pancake mix. That's awesome. still a little hot for me to drink, but I can, I can taste it a little bit. It's yeah. good. It's definitely yeah. a good bite. We'll taste it again when we go to sign off. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cook the rest of this stuff now. All right? And then we'll get back to you. Give me a piece of paper towel. Tear it in half. A piece of slow in That's how I don't burn bacon inside, I just constantly flip it. I think that grill is a little bit hot. Because when you're constantly flipping it, you're always keeping an eye on both sides of it. Mm -hmm. It might take a little bit longer, but not going to burn at all. The edges started to turn brown on that from the at least. I think this may be a little bit harder. Put the pancakes we cook on that time. What we got? We got aluminum foil covered, right? Already turned up. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that! It splattered all around the edges. <laughs> Man, it was getting. Oh, it was already getting kind of done. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, it got on the edge. <laughs> A little longer. A little longer. Those two are definitely going to be the best. Oh yeah, there ain't no doubt. 
because the fire is kind of starting to die down right now. Whoa, that's hot on the hand. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. All right, I think we got enough for. I think I got enough of one more. And I think they do better on this side. Right, That's gonna be a small one. Yeah, gonna be a tiny one. I'm making the most out of it. Yeah, that's gonna be a tiny one. I think I'll be ready. Nick, you can eat this one. I bet you that ain't gonna take long. Look, there's a little bitty one. <laughs> Look at that. Just keep flipping it. We'll eat it too. At <laughs> least not one. <whatnot. laughs> Oh, we got look, look, three little mini pancakes. Those are for the birds. This may be ready to flip over already. Oh yeah, that'll be good. Man, that'll be real good. We're about to empty this whole bottle of quick repair syrup. We all. Good stuff. Oh yeah. Man, that's gonna be. Perfect. I had that last little beating one turn out. Way better cooked a little bit less. Yeah. Well, the griddle finally cooled off a little bit, so I think that had a lot to do with it. All right, the coffee is finally cool enough to where it's not going to be that big of an issue. Burning our mouths. That is fantastic. I love it. Mm. So once again, get another coffee that is perfect to drink black. Yeah. There's a lot of coffees that are just lousy and you gotta load them up with creamer and sugar. Really, really good coffee. You can drink black. Cheers. Cheers. All right, well, we hope you had fun. We hope you enjoyed it. But well, we got pancakes to eat. <laughs> and we shall see you in the next one. See you later. Little burn on the bottom. I bet those others are not gonna be afraid of it.